All right, music fans, welcome back. It is Dave, the Real Music Observer, observing real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me right here. Okay, so quick Steve Perry radio airplay update. Now, before I talk about where Steve Perry is going to find himself on the charts uh, next week or at the end of this week or whenever the reporting is going to get done and when these stations are actually going to be able to add music because they're all controlled by like iHeartRadio and um, it's like this big behemoth that you know you've got a playlist and you can't alter that playlist even if you know Elvis comes back the Beatles have a new song and then right after that Steve Perry returns uh, nope sorry everything's pre-programmed and only the mom and pop operations the smaller chains of radio stations have the flexibility to actually add a song uh, my dj friend told me what do you think we've got cds <laughs> uh, what a line that was and i'm thinking to myself wow wow this isn't the world i want to live in if i'm in radio um, how hard though is it to drop a file into a computer program and send it out it's pretty easy um but that's the logic behind why this has taken uh, a little while to get to radio. And people have said, hey, Dave, what are you so concerned about? I guess I'm nostalgic. It's, it's not concern. It's nostalgia for the era where we collectively would get in our cars, turn on our local radio station, the one that we listen to for new music or whatever, and you'd hear a new single by that artist you know you'd hear it say playing on mtv but then you could go in your car and drive around and hear it there too because the the radio station was playing it now it's like ipods flash drives spotify dave just make your own playlist okay i get it but i'm nostalgic okay and i think this was too big of an event for radio to just say you know what no we're just going to we're, we're just going to do katy perry we're just playing what we normally play. Adele is on right now, and I'm not. We're not going to interrupt Adele. We're just going to play um, what we normally play. And I, but Steve Perry came back. Yeah, well, you know he's been gone for a long time, and there's you know, there are not a lot of people who really care about Steve Perry now. Really, <laughs> have you have you seen the Vivo video total right now, heading toward two million views or maybe over? I haven't checked it, but. Um, it's it's pretty much a smash hit on the internet uh it's not a smash hit on radio because of all of the mergers and monopolies and people dictating to you and i what we should like and what we shouldn't like and oh you've got to be into these upcoming new artists who all sound the same who are all produced by like the same five or six people uh it's all fluff there's no real instrumentation it's all programmed and so forth and you're supposed to really like it uh even though there have been i've watched a lot of videos on this topic and how the quality of melodic music in the last 50 years is just doing it's doing this it's doing a nosedive um there's no creativity there's endless repetition of lyrics um, and the lyrics too we could go into that but look you've got Steve Perry all right uh, you got what Vinny Caliuta on drums in some cases you've got Randy Goodrum as a songwriter in there you know you've got a little bit of a West Coast jazzy vibe on this record and that makes me very happy as a consumer of great music what you don't have though is a number one top 40 hit it's never gonna happen folks it's done we're not seeing that uh, mainstream rock not gonna add it adult contemporary stations yes they will add this song it's the only place by the way if it's a hot AC which is kind of leans a little top 40 ish and is a little bit more upbeat and crazy um, now nah, they're not gonna add the new Steve Perry record so it's adult contemporary stations that will play one new song per hour and Steve Perry's song is scheduled to land at number 29 when it debuts. And I believe it's a top 40 chart. It's either a top 40 or a top 50, depending on whose survey you look at. Um, so at number 29, I guess we ought to be thankful and grateful that at least it's going to chart somewhere. But you're going to be, you know, you're going to need to be in a special market 
with a radio station that does this because there aren't a lot of radio stations that are AC radio stations. They play hits from, say, the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, and then they play one current song or something like that. It's, it's just nuts, folks. It's nuts. Radio is toast. It's done. Whether this song goes to number one at AC or not is yet to be uh, determined, but I can tell you this. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, and I'm going to give it up. I'm going to let it go because everybody says just let it go, so I'm going to let it go. Uh, I'm thankful that Steve Perry is back and that millions of people are enjoying his music, but radio in this country is pretty much toast. All right, I'm done. I'll be back soon. See you then.